Hey there, everybody. It's me, Great on ninety five. Welcome to my five hundred video. My five hundredth video. Sorry, enunciation is key. Um. So I had a lot of things that I wanted to do for this five hundredth video. Uh, basically, I couldn't do any of them because uh, they weren't original enough, I guess, to me. They weren't something really, you know, something that I really, really wanted to do for my 5 the video. And so I settled on doing this uh, little mashup of some games that I've played. Two, because I had to take out one that I didn't really have words for. Um... And I wanted to show a little footage and talk a little bit about it and hopefully get you guys a little bit of knowledge about it, if you don't know already. So uh, the two games I'm talking about today are uh, Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, a lot of people know about that, and Chippendale Rescue Rangers for the NES. So a SNES and a NES game. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind how bad my commentary is about it, because I'm pretty bad at talking about Zombies Hate My Neighbors, and then Chip and Dale I don't really have words for, because it's... I can't do that game. Like, it's a fun... They're both really fun. That's why I wanted to, you know, talk about them a little bit and recommend them a little bit, but they're both really fun, and I can't, I can't be... Well, Zombies Hate My Neighbors I'm pretty okay at. Chip and Dale, I'm not, not so much. You'll see that in the video. But, yeah. Um, thank you all before I start. Thank you all for joining me for this 500th video. Thank you all for being there in uh, that subscription box or just being a viewer. That's really, I really appreciate it and it's been helping me make videos for you guys and for me. So, and this is one of those things that I really, really enjoy doing. Uh, it's a really fun hobby. I really, it's great, honestly. It's really fun. And now that I'm at the 500 video mark in my second year, it's really, um, it's quite, you know, a big deal for me. Uh, but yeah. So thank you all for watching already, and I hope you have a great day after this video. And enjoy. If I could stop my camera. Enjoy. Zombies Ate My Neighbors, a little run-and-gun game made by LucasArts and Konami. It's different from any other zombie game that I've really seen done, and it's really one of my favorite SNES games I've ever played so far. Um, you play as Zeke or Julie, two kids who are in a zombie apocalypse and have to save all of their neighbors and friends. Um, what I really like about this game is the ver variety of weapons you can come across. They range from your normal gun, to a fire extinguisher, to plates, silverware, and various other instruments, including a weed whacker, which I find to be one of the best weapons in the game. So far. Now the weapons also do what they should in a typical monster horror movie. And they can be killed in one hit by silverware, because it's silverware. There's also a cross that you can find that is one hit kill to vampires, so the weapons do as they should in the game. The variety of monsters that are in this game are based off of and attribute to old classic movie monsters that are, you know, the werewolf, the zombies, the vampires, your typical um, ones there. There's also demon babies that 
are also that also look like toys, I guess. They're kind of a Chucky kind of reference thing, I think, but I don't, I'm not really sure. There's copies of you that emerge from plants. So there's a bunch of enemy types that you can find. There are mummies as well, now that I remember, uh, that are pretty cool. And also, besides all the weapons and monster types, there's also a lot of items that you can pick up and use. Such as keys that open doors, of course. There are health packs, of course you need those because everything does a hit or two of damage. Uh, there are clowns that are inflatable that you can use for distractions to run away or have them attack and you can kill the enemies. There are potions you can use that do a variety of things. Some speed you up really fast, some restore your health, uh, and there's one that is the red potion that turns you into a giant purple monster that you can use to kill everything and be invincible. It's really an awesome potion. It's a fun time to do that. And I'm not sure how many levels there are in this entire game, but I've made it up to level 12, and I can tell you the experience is great. It's a fantastic game. I recommend it to anybody who hasn't played it. And you should go buy it on Wii, on WiiWare, or you can go out and get the actual SNES copy if you want. If you have it already, kudos to you. It's freaking amazing. Absolutely love the game. Uh, there's also a giant baby. Yeah. It's a boss. It's awesome. And hard. But yeah. I definitely recommend this game. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I will have some co-op footage of it with Game Boy 721 and I. And on to the next game. Chippendale! Now, I never heard of this game, and I don't know of anybody who has, uh, it's a NES game for the Nintendo Entertainment System, if you want to be entirely specific. Uh, it's a really fun, uh, co-op platformer that you can do. It's... <sighs> I don't, I don't really have too much to say about it. There's not a lot of footage because I'm really bad at the game. It's a hard game. It's an interesting little title. Uh, where you play as Chip or Dale, and basically the story is some, uh, who is it? There's, the tutorial level, I don't remember what you, what the story is, because I skipped over it in the footage, and the next level is, basically your friend gets captured, I forget what her name is, uh, let me guess, let me guess. Song tuner. I don't remember what her name is, but it's the Lady Mouse thing. If you ever watched the cartoon, it's what this is based off of, I think. But it's a really great cartoon. I really actually enjoyed the cartoon. It's a big part of my childhood. And uh, from what I can tell, this game has all of the characters in it. Uh, they look a little weird at points, like Monterey Jack when you find him at the end of this level, if I ever get to the end of the level in this footage, I'll probably cut to it in this, uh, but he's in here, there's also the little fly friend that I don't remember his name is, but he's awesome and he makes you invincible, um, there's a bunch of robot enemies in this level, and basically every level is a platformer where you can throw boxes and you can crouch in them and you're invincible, kind of, in those boxes, they just get hit and the boxes kill the enemy in a hit, so. There's also bosses! Uh, this boss that I fight in this video is a giant machine that I don't understand that I'm really bad at fighting, but basically you just kill it and then you go on to the next level. It's a really fun game to do some, you know, co-op play with. I wouldn't play it by myself necessarily, but if you have a friend over, it's really, it might tickle your fancy. So I definitely recommend you check it out. It's really, it's really fun. It's a really fun game. 
But, uh, yeah, I don't have any footage of this other than, uh, this little bit that I have right here. So, I hope you enjoyed this little commentary of Zombies Ate My Neighbors and Trippendale. I didn't have too much to say about Trippendale because it's really simplistic. I'm sorry if you were expecting more. But, yeah, uh, thank you all for watching this little video. It's my 500th video. Uh, thanks to all 82 of you so far, as I have checked to this date. 82 of you that are on my channel that have stuck around for 500 videos. It's a really, it's really awesome. I, I'm really proud of 500 videos, honestly. It's pretty cool. Um, it's, I don't know. There's... I don't have any regrets, honestly. I've deleted a few videos, yeah, but I would have been up to 500 sooner if I hadn't, but those videos don't really need to be on there anymore, so. Thank you all again for sticking with me. Uh, hopefully I bring you some better content soon. I've actually gotten a couple of videos that I've put a little bit more time and effort into than other videos that I'm going to upload, and I hope you guys appreciate it. Uh... I will... It's... They're both co... Or... Well, there's one. Sorry, I, I was lying a little. I'm going to maybe edit a little bit, but they're both co-commentaries with Game Boy 721 co-op little things that we did with Zombies Ate My Neighbors and Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Uh... Whatever the heck it is for the SNES. Both of them are. So... I hope you guys enjoy those. I found the Zombies Ate My Neighbors one to be fun, and I found the Legend of the <laughs> Mystical Ninja one to be hilarious. So, I don't know if I'm going to do too much in the editing process with Zombies Ate My Neighbors one. I don't think so, really. I'll just upload it as it is, because it's pretty good. There's not much I need to edit it in it. So, again, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. Um, have a wonderful day.